All right, today we were at a nearby river, and yesterday we were out at actually a different river, and we noticed that there was a ton of lures in the river. So we got the great idea, hey, let's go lure fishing. So that's what we're out here doing today. And there's actually a good chance that in this exact river spot we're at, we're gonna be finding a lot of our lures because we lost a ton of them here this season. I rigged us up some lure fishing poles, and all they are is this one is a broken fishing pole, the bent piece of wire on the end, this one's for a duster with another piece of wire on the end. So this is what we're going to use to kind of try to reach down in the water and see if we can grab any. We also got our Tupperware containers and we'll see how good we do today. So it's a little old, but got our first one. Oh, 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 I got it. Look at that. Pull it up. Aha! Nice, that's Gorgeous. a brand. Look at that, that's ours, I'm pretty sure. That is our lure, I am almost positive. This looks brand new, so that's awesome. Okay, I just found a log that looks like it's got a few lures on it. You can't see it? Two for one. Nice. Without even looking. I couldn't even see it. I couldn't even see down this hole. I just stuck my little, we're calling them gigs, my little gig down in there. Two Vibrexes. Not bad. This is a really awesome spot, probably about 20 minutes away from where Eric and I are at. This is the Susitna River where the Willow Creek comes into it. And it's so much fun to come down here in the winter when there's all the snow. And I'm really looking forward to when it freezes up. Did you get something? Brand new pink vibrant. Finding lots of weights too and swivels, which always come in handy. So here's a big old knotted up mess and some weights and then we got a blue fox pink one nice that's a good one nice it's just a little Whew, we got lucky on that one because there's no string attached it's missing the hook but you can put a new hook on there that's still worth it nice one uh, oh yeah oh this is cool i'm not really sure what this is just a really big wow Weight it's huge for the lure that's nice oh whoa big hook cool okay so we think that this little island is going to be like treasure island here because some of this is underwater when it's fishing season and now it's exposed we got that cool one fox what is it again blue fox no it's a flash go flash glow okay so we're spotting them left and right that's a fly that's just a remnant of a fly. Tons of string on this thing. Yeah, All right, we found our first rooster tail. Okay, so the way we're kind of finding them is by pulling up some string and the lures will come out of the mud. Do you want to cut it? Yeah, can I show you the other one I found? This one. Whoa, that's beautiful. Okay, I just found a little micro 
little micro fishing lure. And then we found a double, two single hooks. So these were a nice score that Ariel just found. She found all these on one little tree branch under the water. Looks like this spot is a great spot for lure hunting for us. We hopped over to the Susitna River and this river is awesome. It's going to freeze up this winter and it'll be passable on snow machine. We chose a really good day to come out here and do this. We've had some frozen weather, but it looks pretty warm today and I think we're in the upper 30s or maybe even the low 40s. We're gonna keep heading up the creek to keep looking for some more lures. Wombo! Wombo. Pretty cool. Okay, so this is how many lures and hooks and weights we found today. Not sure how many it is, but I feel like we did pretty dang good. Some of our nicer ones I think we found are this one right here I really liked, along with this really big one. I've never seen one like this before. And then we found a few of the Vibrax number fours, which a lot of people use around here. We found a lot of them that were in really good condition. So a lot of these just need to be cleaned up a little bit. Some of them like this, you know, the hooks are broken, but you can throw new hooks on these. But some of these lures we found, I mean, some of these things can be like five, six, seven bucks a piece. So just having all these going into next year, really gonna help us out because you do lose a lot of lures fishing here. And the coolest part about finding these lures in this river is that these are lures that people use obviously in this river. That's why they're using them. That's why they lost them. And we fish this river. So all of these we can pretty much use here. Um, most of them are the treble hooks. And we also have a couple of the single hooks, which some of the creeks around here, you can only use the single hooks. We also found a little Lego guy. I don't know what he was doing in there. And we found a cool green lighter. So the majority of these we found at the second spot, the spot we're at now. The first spot didn't really pan out because the water was a little too high. Had a lot of rain yesterday. Not only do we have fishing gear for next year, but we also get to clean up the local rivers that we like to fish. So it's a win-win situation. So we're gonna get these lures back in the Tupperware, bring them home and clean them up. And we'll see you guys on the next video.